the ministers here present and distinguished members in the con congregation. Coming to sorry my friend the Attorney General, my classmate. Coming to the judiciary for many of us is like a homecoming because this is where we started our early life. I was appointed a magistrate in 1983 and we served in various parts of this country. I didn't last long in the judiciary and I left to go to practice. I'm saying this, Your Excellency, because uh, as late as the early 80s, access to justice in this country was a very difficult issue. I remember in late 1983, I was hired by a sitting MP then to go to Mandera to represent his constituent. Going to Mandera took me two days by road and I appeared in a court presided over by a DC who had no knowledge of any law and as I was cross-examining a witness he cut me short and said Wakili Maliza Araka Tufunge Uimutu Twende That is how far Kenyans have come to now access modern processes of getting justice. So we come here today, Lady Chief Justice and the judiciary as a whole, to celebrate your week and to receive your report and place it before the House of Parliament where it will be debated and the other arm of government that I lead will pass some judgment on your report, on your performance, and that is how interdependent we must be. Today, as we celebrate this great day, I want to encourage the judiciary to remain studiously independent. For the last couple of years, bills and acts of parliament passed at Parliament have found their fate not too welcoming in the judiciary, we struck out many of them as being unconstitutional. And that is as it should be, because each arm of government must supplicate itself to the other. And whenever you make such decisions, it makes the legislature even more careful in ensuring that the laws they pass must be consistent with the Constitution and with the aspirations of the people of Kenya. So, Your Excellency, as we come here, I want to salute you for being consistent in declaring your desire and your government to support the judiciary unconditionally so that they can be able to dispense justice to the ordinary people. Just one thing I want to finish with, uh, Lady Chief Justice, and I think I've said this to you a few times before. In the old days when we were young practitioners, courts were studiously time conscious. Nine o'clock if a lawyer or his client were not in court, the judges, the magistrates were seated there and they would take a very dim view of a lawyer who comes late or a litigant who comes late. I want to encourage the judiciary that we keep to that tradition so that members of the public who seek justice don't come and stand in the corridors of the courts for too long. I can see now you are digital, even though the digital platform, if we observe time, will save a lot of other issues for Kenyans. Allow me to finish by once again saluting our judiciary for coming of age and for making milestone decisions in many, many disputes between citizens and citizens, citizens and the state, not to mention politicians versus politicians, 
and now we have come to a level where even those who don't agree with what you say are respecting what you say. And that is the Kenya we want and that's the Kenya we must have. Thank you and may God help the judiciary continue being the true defender of the interests of the weak and the mighty at the same level. Because that's where society must be. Thank you. Asante sana bwana speaker sir. Um